Oh, golly, golly, golly. Today already started off with some technical issues where I was starting the stream and for some reason it wasn't capturing the video source. So that was super duper cool. Um, I discovered yesterday after I was done streaming that none of the game audio had come through. So that was also super duper cool. Um, that was entirely my fault, though. I, I hadn't changed some of the settings in OBS. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tired. I got woken up this morning. The fire alarm was going off because somebody had burned their food. So that was super duper cool. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, I have applied a, a, f a noise filter to OBS to hopefully cut down on some of the background noise if, if there is any, like the fan that I have running in the background. So you're about to hear a little bit of echo as I listen running to it on, on Twitch. Background. So you're about to hear a little bit of echo as I listen running to it on, on Twitch. Background. So you're about to hear a little bit of echo as I listen. Interesting. It sounds pretty good to me. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to play some control, man. I just want to play this game. It's super fun. I just had a little bit of time before I go off to church today, so uh, here I am. I want that visible. Yeah, I'll, I'll stream for like... Well, it was going to be about two hours, but after the technical difficulties, probably about. Yeah. Oh, it'll be good to actually have some audio in the game, huh? <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to be talking though, because I'm kind of tired. Hey, hey, up here. Happiness comes. Happiness comes. They're definitely saying words. That's what I was noticing yesterday. If you didn't see it yesterday, I gained the ability to make a shield out of like random shit. So that's cool. I love doing that. Okay, so it looks like there's some dudes in there, so that's cool. I like exploring a bit in this game. Yo. Oh. Huh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the game does look quite nice. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna destroy their building. Technically my building now too, I guess, now that I'm the director, so... But the director coming, Jesse? Gosh. Yeah, give me that good dodge efficiency. Huh? Glad to see you're still you. Wait, is this the guy I talked to earlier? 
Hey, thanks for bringing down that... whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling Blackrock Lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. <laughs> but Darling's lab is just past Blackrock Processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you. Oh, he's dead. Leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. Yeah, but they know You've the bureau job, and how Kira it works Rich, more. But so. you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. I'm probably going to put a lot of bullets into it, I'm guessing. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. So Secondary objective, we'll as always, was to find the route from the back. threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No, nothing. Do you think we should tell him about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful Medic, song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, it's a siren. We need to get them to a surgical oh, station so ASAP. But I'd say she was more enchanting yeah. than alluring. They're gonna have to be. Fine, we are moving out and I am not leaving them behind. Um, now, do you need did to you do. tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Ed. Beard? Hey, remember the deal. You kill a hiss, I... Right, Trench's behavior. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They've both been acting odd lately. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all this Hedron research in the first place. But after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device, especially not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon before the next bureau heads me. I buy a shot. Bottom shelf only. You'll be all right. Something, something, fuck up. Something, something. Yeah, you'll be fine. Put more pressure on that wound. Yeah, see? Being a little bitch. Fortunate. the forklift now? Arush wasn't didn't. kidding about that monster. We've got shifting hallways and stuff. What are we looking at here? Can't tell. Oh yo, this guy's still alive.
Hey. Did that kill him? Did I just kill him? Oh. I'm gonna bring him back. Man. What have we got? You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? What are they saying? That's what I want to know. be the monster where are you you slut wow that hurt a lot what the fuck How do I? What the fuck? Holy shit. Um. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. He's dead this time. You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find the prism? I gotta figure out how to defeat this thing. Shit. What the fuck? Yeah, I see you, you slut.
I need health. That's how this works. making the whole stage fuzzy. Damn it! Oh, I fucking dodged into a fucking cart. Fuck you. Fucking stupid. To run all the way back. And this is the thing that I think is a little jacked up, is like, look, I, I'm fighting a boss. Put me inside the boss room. Like, fuck. Make me run all the way back every single time. A little annoying. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Yo, oh, um... You showed um. me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? Shit. I can see where you are. No, no, it's like this is the thing about this game is like when you first fight a boss. It's really frustrating because you got to learn the mechanics of it and you die a bunch and stuff like that. But then as you learn it, it actually gets pretty fun. Yeah, bitch! Let's hurry up and find Darling's lab. Yo? Is there another one? I did that! I did that one without dying or without taking damage even. That was awesome. Close of hazard. There are areas in the oldest house where on the conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. 
the quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where Black Rock comes from. You heard Extra that too, right? Dimensional matter. Black Rock comes from the a threshold out quarry. A frequencies. A, so a thing. the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line fire breaks are about. The panopticon container cells. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily, the codes, Black Rock 665, neighbor of the beast. Get it? We can do that again. <laughs> Darling's key. This should get us into the quarry. Nice. Man. Bastard was doing math. I knew it. Blackrock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of redacted density that nullifies all resonances within a range of redacted to redacted. Bureau innovations that incorporate Blackrock will be analyzed, most notably the firebreaks. Feats of engineering designed to contain any. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further innovations using BlackRock, as work in that field has marked markedly slowed in recent years. Oh, excuse me. Had a sneeze. Is this not the area I just had that battle in? I think it is. dimensions and I never want to leave even with all the horror I'm happy it feels sane just the right kind of insane nah 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 you're mine now Explore this area a little bit more. Hmm? Oh. No point? Wait. What? If I can, uh, oh, uh, yo, I was like, yo, what? This is a one way.
Like I need to go back. Death. <laughs> that was awesome. I just fucking knocked him out of the air with a barrel. The Donkey Kong dad motherfucker. The NSC was designed by the by order of Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of redacted excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. Oh, interesting. So the source of energy is some sort of a living creature. The coolant pumps can keep the container and it's redacted from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then si conducted to the converters where it is rendered into a redacted through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible in the New York City grid. After NSC-01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of Redacted's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC-02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effort effect from its occupant. Internal movement detected. What's in the reactor? Northmore. Northmore sarcophagus container. Who is Northmore? I'm gonna have to fight that, aren't I? Oh, word. These are the uh, pipes that I saw on the map. The, the, the notation, the notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigator redacted met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operated speeds may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. Okay, so fun fact. This is like, I believe, a Korean uh, uh, folklore thing where they believe that if you leave a fan on in your room overnight, it'll kill you. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm the certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communication with the public bodies. Da da da.
Oh, yo. <laughs> That's cool. I don't think this is the way I came in, is it? Oh, I can't tell. Must have been because. Yeah, it kind of has to. Well, hang on. No, it was this way, wasn't it? That's where. This is where I came in from. I guess I do have to go this way. That noise. You know, just had a moment of confusing this game with Prey. That was a great game, Prey. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Highly recommend. Honestly, still holds up really well. There's my chunk of rock. The explosion afterwards is just a nice, satisfying confirmation that I hit the enemy. It goes all the way down. Um, Miss Faden, I feel like you should be walking more softly. <laughs> that was a nice touch. She landed on fucking air vents, so they dented. Like that. 
That's so cool. Oh, it's dark down there. It is hard to see. That's some spooky shit. I hear something horrific. Something about that was just fucking hilarious to me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Oh, let's see. What time are we at? Uh, yeah, we can keep going for a while. I do have to keep track of time. That was extremely rude. Oh, uh, you're gonna shoot missiles for me instead of at me. Knock him off balance and then uh, hit him with the shotgun. Surprise, sluts! I have superpowers. Multiple environmental hazards. Very cool. Oh, that looks sick. I gotta get in there, man. Oh, come on. How do I get in there? Additional diamond blades. Da, 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 da. All right. So basically, black rock hard. Thought I saw the spirally dewy thing. Oh, neat. Oh, 
Fucked up. I fucked up. God for the little fucking dodge ability. Shit's real bright, dude. And don't worry, it's not just dark on the stream. It is dark as fuck in some of these areas. So... That's not just a, uh, settings bed. I can hardly fucking see. I don't think there's anything of note up here. Well, that. Yes! This is definitely some sort of a secret area. I mean, the fact I needed superpowers to get here is a bit of a giveaway, huh? Oh, am I supposed to have the flying skill or something now? Like, what? Or am I missing something here? I've got to be just missing something, right? Like, I, I must just not be seeing something, right? Because I don't think you can even get the flying skill yet. Or maybe it's during this mission? What mission am I on? How do I find that out? Mission. Uh... Doesn't really say. Oh, though. Head brain melon is weak. <laughs> I love it. I, I don't know. Uh, power plant, so I need to go this way, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. This is the locked door. That's the pit with the spiky ball. That oh, is cool. Not what I expected. Very cool. This is awesome.
Yeah, there we go. Whoa, 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 don't run off the edge. Trying to break all that shit. Okay, and that's how you get back up. Oh, okay, so no smoking. Fuck you. The fuck are you? Okay, you're an explodey boy. At all of them? Uh, I still hear something. These are normal noises, it's fine. Another nine to five. <laughs> Living the dream. Ooh, this arm. There you are. Oh, you stay the fuck away. Activate the explosives. Hell yeah, brother. Those explosives? Quarry incident. During my weekly safety inspection to the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of redacted. The whole team was redacted, aligned and staring in a uniform direction. The city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained redacted for more than redacted minutes until I had to resort to literally redacted. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. City. Oh. Huh. Do I... Oh. Ah, so to power it. <laughs> 
Oops. Oh, hey, there's a battery. Batteries all over this bitch. Yeah. Explosions. One piece. And there it is, right where you led me. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan. Oh, we got spooky things! Fuck. Come on, Jesse. Time to run, motherfucker, run! Oh, we got spooky, spiky balls. Oof. No way. Oh, yo. Oh, this actually works really well for me. I need five astral blips. I, yo, we are taking this fucking elevator back out of here because fuck all of that noise. Hmm, we do see the stream got a little stuttery there for a second, didn't it? No frame drop, so it's just a network thing, it looks like. Long elevator. Move the rocket. Oh, you're boring. You use guns. A sniper of some sort. You're all boring. base. The very deep base. My goodness. I'm 
just checking for collectibles. Yeah, I like that. Oh, word. I love how there's all these official ways to get down and whatnot, and I just... Superpowers. blips is what I need. Good guys. Where is that control point? Energy converters. Blank signage. There's my control point. Because I can't make this until I get five more astral blips. Ventilation, elevator, elevator. I don't know where the elevator goes. Oh, we're gonna find it. Oh, it goes down. Oh. I thought it went up. Yeah, this isn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> Just, nah. <laughs> I love it when you can just like break an animation. There you go. <laughs> She's sliding. I'm just gonna fast travel. Back to... Central Executive. Need to go through the dead letters and get a few more headshots to complete that one uh, side mission. Uh, and actually what I'm going to do now is go ahead and call it because I don't know. I'm happy right now. I'm good. Um, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a fun game. Um, super happy with the PC. Let me go ahead and take a look. Cause I am curious. Anyway, I want to see when my new liquid cooler gets in. It, it said tomorrow. So I checked yesterday and officially it says tomorrow, but it is like right next to me. It says tomorrow by 10 p.m. I was really hoping it was going to be today, because that would have been cool. Super close to me, but... Oh, well. Um, I'm happy, you know. <clears throat> I'm enjoying this game quite a lot, so... Uh, but for now, that's going to be it for me, so... As always, thank you for watching.
Sorry for your suffering. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.